When one talks of the beauty of the English countryside, we think generally in terms of the natural settings. Cultivated areas like this we tend to associate with Holland. Yet this incomparable spectacle is made by fields of lupins in the heart of the industrial Midlands. The cultivation of lupins has advanced so much in recent years that these are as yet unnamed varieties from which cuttings will be taken for even more different types of the future. The location is Bunningdale near Wolverhampton, where for the past 15 years the nurseries here have carried out and developed the work of George Russell, who created the lupin as we know it today, from the original theme of simple blues and whites, and who was said by horticulturists to have added more colour to the English garden than any other man. Magnificent specimens like the Lady Gay variety. In perfect lupins, by the way, no part of the stem should be seen. Another just as lovely variety, incidentally, is called Rhapsody, but you'll notice elsewhere in the fields the more novel two-colour types. Just over a hundred years ago, when George Russell was born, the lupin, as nature had created it, was less colourful, too spindly and the wrong shape. Today, thanks to the dedication and skill of man, they rank with the most beautiful of all flowers.